Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 27th, 2023. Well, last week, doggone it, we broke down some technical patterns, we broke down some price patterns, and now we, um, well, we face um, some interesting um, interesting challenges ahead in that price action. What does that mean for this week? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition to the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here today. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we have a situation here in the diamonds, as you can see, where, well, we really create a little bit of a problem. Notice right in here, this is a fairly substantial price resistance area in the chart. It was a support area that we failed, and I want you to look back across here. This is actually a massive price level in the chart that we're going to have to deal with now on any rally back up. And if we take a look at our technicals here, we've kind of got mixed technical data here with the price action data. First off, notice that we failed our 50 day moving average here. That's that blue line right there. And you'll also want to notice that we've got a 34 EMA up above it's getting ready to cross back down we've got our 500 day above so we've got a pretty substantial resistance area not only in the price action of the chart but also in the technicals of the chart and if we go back and just clean up that chart just a little bit and just look closely at the price action you'll notice that we've got that little bit of a complication in here of that possible downtrend being in play and, and the reason I say possible is because we broke this low and we haven't broken this low just yet, as you can see, or maybe that ends up in being just kind of a double top situation right there in the chart. Now, looking down here, we held support in here. That's a nice sign. We're seeing a bounce back up here this morning. So what does that mean? Well, I would say as those bulls try to push back here and defend that support area, what we're going to be watching for is this resistance level somewhere between right in here. Notice that resistance right across that area and that possibility that we could push just a little bit higher to that really strong resistance area up in here so let's watch that closely if remember we could rally back into here and still show a failure and that possibly would set a downtrend a little bit steeper to the chart and if that down lower high were to come in that's where i'd worry about this support potentially being broken in the chart so keep a close eye on that now we add to the complications as we look into the spy take a look at the spy in here obviously we broke some support levels in this chart push down here trying to find some price support right in this area and there is a, uh, some price support right in here if you'll notice it's actually a little bit deeper um, in that price support but the the reason I think we probably bounced first off you'll want to notice we this is that original bear trend break and we broke back below it but this morning we're trying to bounce back right back above that area and hold on to that um, bear trend support but you'll notice here that the real key is that 50 day moving average we broke down through that 50 day moving average we're trying to bounce back and recover that here this morning in the pre-market holding right there around that 200 day moving average so we have the technicals here on the key on the spy side to be in that bullish pattern trying to show that bullish support here in that technical pattern the question we have is the price pattern now and in that price pattern if we catch a rally back well you could certainly notice that if we rally back right up into here we're going to run into some potential price resistance in the chart and if we can pass through that well right there is going to be the major uh worry or concern in the market and we're going to run into that double whammy of that potential price resistance here and the price resistance of the downtrend 
and that possibility that that's where we could roll over. So we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that. Remember, as we rally back, we want to be watching that carefully for that potential. What I'm trying to say is if you decide to buy, make sure you're recognizing these resistance levels in the chart as we push up there. Those may be the places to take some profits in the chart. QQQ also has that same kind of complication in here where we created, and, and by the way, let me just back that up. We know that uh, technically um, the way you create a downtrend is you have a lower low, okay? We failed up here. We have a lower low followed by uh, excuse me, a lower high followed by a lower low. If we look at our QQQ, we have the same situation where we have a lower high followed by a lower low. And it did hold support in here, as you notice, we pushed down into this area. Now, obviously, in kind of a confused level, um, we, we clearly dropped through these price support levels right in here. Um, pushing back down but we didn't break that that uh, bear trend break right here in the chart so we're still holding in there so fingers crossed uh, if you're a bull here in the market that they will hold on to this level um, and then if we look right here we in our technicals we held right there on that 200 day moving average and we'll want to notice that our 50 day is still trying to move up and catch up. And that's why I said that our NASDAQ was so overly bought, um, it was more susceptible to a pretty substantial pullback. And well, we certainly got it. Now, taking a look here on this chart, once again, I wanna point out these areas as we rally back into these price resistance areas of the chart. We're going to wanna be watching carefully for that potential that the bears could be in there to defend those areas of the chart. If we could rally right back up here to this support break right in this area on this current price action, well, I would be watching this area right up in here, this possible resistance area and that place where we could create that next lower high um, in the chart. So again, if you're bullish and you push into this trade, just make sure to be watching those resistance levels and maybe a reason to be taking some profits up in that region if we can get up there. So watch that closely. Our IWM, same situation here, maybe just a little bit more on the bearish side <clears throat> um, in the actual price pattern itself. On the technical pattern, we're still quite bullish. We held above our 50 day moving average. <clears throat> so I can't, and you know, technically here, we've got a pretty good chart in um, the IWM, um, but we're running into that major price pattern complication here in the chart in this rally back into these resistance levels. <clears throat> well, that just runs right back into that downtrend in that possibility that we could move on lower from that point. So we'll have to watch those levels pretty closely. Let's take a quick look at our VIX. Our VIX, whoops, wrong chart. Our VIX, as you can see, was a little bit confused on um, Friday. We tried to shoot up, pulled back from the high, kind of danced around here a little bit as we sold off. But the, the thing that we won't, might want to pay attention to here in the chart is fear has crept up here just a little bit. We broke this downtrend here in that fear. And as you can see, we're holding at least at this point above a little bit of price support. Now I suspect the bullishness that we're seeing this morning could break that down here this morning, but we have some data coming out that could change our morning open here very, very soon. So watch that closely um, here in the market. This still is yet to be decided. Remember, I don't think the bears really gain much control unless they hold a higher low in here and we start breaking some of these additional resistance levels to the upside. Let's take a look at our T2122. For you bulls out there, this is probably the most hopeful um, in the chart in the T2122. We did push down in here to that bearish, um, excuse me, bullish reversal zone 
And although we pressed back up here at the end of the day, um, come out of that out of that zone here, we'll want to watch that pretty closely because we have some data this morning. Um, although we're showing bullishness in the, in the pre market and this pre market pump that we get every day is just kind of ridiculous anymore. But if you keep a close eye on this, you'll notice that. Well, if that data comes out this morning and it finds reason to um, embolden those bears, then we have opened some more downside opportunity if those bears uh, find reason in the data. And then if we take a look right in here, we've got a pretty good upside opportunity if those bulls find inspiration in that data today. So remember t2122 doesn't tell us direction it just tells us those pressure points that we may see here in the market and if we take a look at our t2108 well our t2108 had a little bit of bearishness coming in there on friday pushing down but i got to tell you i don't think this is a, a game changer at all i don't think the bears in any way shape or form have confirmed control of the market despite the downtrends that we're starting to see developing in particularly in the spy qqq and iwm so we have this still have this bit of an uptrend holding in here and um all we've done is relieve some of this major pressure that we saw here in the market overly bullish pressure here in the market we've relieved that we're down here around that 50 area of the chart there is some price support in here that would be um, good reason to see buyers step up in this area as long as the data supports it if those bears find that data supporting them then that's where we really could slip into a little bit of bearishness we've got about 48 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and then if we look at our uh, t2107 t2107 is still in a very bullish condition i think we relieved a lot of that over frothy um, um, extended bullish pressure here in the market pulling this back and as you can see 54 55 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average and we're still holding in this upside trend so can't see anything bad here but we are at that decision point um, if the data today were to inspire the bears, well, that could change. We could break that trend pretty easily. So watch that close. If it inspires the bulls, that is a good place for us to bounce back up off of there. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 has been very, very confused. And I think with these big swinging whipsaws and overnight reversals, a lot of confusion here in T2101, and we're really not getting the best of data in here because, well, we just keep whipsawing every single day in these big um, overnight reversals and whips. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our economic calendar for today, um, this is what I was talking about. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple of data points here this morning that could be market moving. So first off, the biggest one is the durable goods data. We'll want to be keeping an eye on that. And consensus this morning is suggesting that the durable goods number is going to come in with a negative in front of it. In fact, a negative 0.4. Last time we were at a 5.6, a negative 0.4, if the consensus is right, would be a substantial bearish swing in our durable goods numbers. And that easily could bring out the bears. So watch that closely. They're looking at X transportation coming in at 0, 0.0 and core capital goods coming in at a 0.1 negative number, which is a little improvement over the last on the month over month. So watch that closely. That headline number could really have the potential to bring out the bears if it comes in like that or worse than that. If it comes in better than that, well, then the bulls may still have the edge here. Now, keeping in mind after that at 10 o'clock, we're going to have pending home sales. We'll want to watch that. The Dallas Fed manufacturing numbers have been horrible. Um, 
you know, our our manufacturing and PMI numbers have not been good. So we'll want to keep an eye on those as we progress through this week. And we uh, keep in mind we've got a three and six month bond auction as well. And the reason I say that is because as we move into the week, notice we've got a Chicago PMI coming in here, but we're going to have international trading goods, Case Schiller coming in here, a lot of housing data coming our way, consumer confidence number coming in. So kind of keep an eye on that. And there's another one of those Richmond Fed numbers coming out where those manufacturing have not been good. I do think it will be interesting on Tuesday to pay attention to these inventories. We've been seeing those inventories creep up. That shows that weakness of the consumer. If they can continue creeping up, that could be an issue for us as well this week. Then we got that PMI manufacturing, ISM manufacturing, construction spending, petroleum status, jobless claims, productivity and costs. Um, I forgot, motor vehicle sales are in there, um, petrol, um, natural gas, uh, the Fed balance sheet, and probably that ISM number here on Friday will be a uh, pretty important PMI composite and then a couple of Fed speakers. So that's kind of our week. But right now, a uh, big focus for this morning is going to be that durable goods report that could easily reverse this pre-market bullishness going on here. So be prepared for that possibility. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. Our earnings calendar um, is starting to lighten up here a little bit. The next couple, three days, we have quite a few earnings reports with a big theme in retail um, happening this week. And well, if we remember what happened with um, Home Depot, Walmart, um, those were not the best retail guidance looking forward. So let's hope um, some of these retail figures out there uh, coming in this week um, are an improvement. One that will be coming up later this uh, week, I think it's tomorrow. Um, yeah, on the 28th, we're going to have Target reporting. So there's another one of those big name retailers reporting coming in. But for today, some of the notables here, if you want to catch the full list of the notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video, guys. That'll take you back to that full list of notables. Um, to run through those, a few of those here really quickly, AAON will be reporting today, obviously trying to push out of this big upside resistance area here in the chart on the building material side. We're going to hear from from Zoom Mobile um, later on today. Keep an eye on that. We've got a W Day report in here to be paying attention to. We're going to hear from some oil uh, today. We've got OXY um, reporting, um, DAR reporting, AES um, is going to be reporting today. Um, so watch some of those. Now, like I said, if you want to catch that full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to that morning blog where you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, just really quick, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if the, you feel the video is worthy, please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much uh, for those folks that do that. A big shout out to everyone who goes through and actually thumbs up um, those comments of other, other traders. Um, in there, it's that engagement that helps the channel to continue to grow. And also a huge thank you to everyone who continues to take advantage of that uh, buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video. Um, thank you so much for supporting the content of the channel and supporting the channel. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to be really, really careful. Do your due diligence because there could be a lot of volatility in this week ahead. And we've created this a little bit of uncertainty in here. We should expect some um, overnight reversals. We should expect those big intraday whipsaws to continue. First off, let's take a look at a chart called uh, Cody, C-O-T-Y. My goodness, I've got a price alert on this. This has been an extremely bullish chart. If you look across here, we've got some additional resistance levels out here in the chart. 
to be thinking about. But if you look at what we've done here, we broke through this major resistance. We're resting up here. I don't know how long that rest will take for this to really resume to the upside, but I gotta tell you, that trend right there looks pretty good. So a few more days in here, that might be all it needs before it pops out and really uh, continues to extend to the upside. Keep an eye on Cody. I think we need to keep an eye on our US dollar here. Um, the dollar um, shot up here a, a lot, and you guys know that I talked about this as a potential um, trade um, in this, what we call a rounded bottom breakout trade. Well, now we're pushing up here toward that 200 day moving average. I'd look for a little bit of price resistance to come into that play right in here, but I think we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this because with the Fed continuing to press, to raise rates we could see that dollar continue to strengthen in here at least hold up and that can create some additional problems here in the market in other places namely being things in the commodity spaces take a look at um, like gld that's been pushing back as a result uh, tlt that's been pushing back as a result of um, that dollar going higher and those bond yields pushing to the upside with the threat of the Fed likely keeping um, that hawkish stance here in the market. Other stocks out there to be uh, kind of keeping an eye on. Um, take a look at Generac. I really like the way this chart has developed itself. It's stuck between this 50 and 200. This is still in that round of bottom breakout pattern here. I like the fact that it is not as herky jerky as some of the stocks that we've seen here lately. So as this rests in this consolidation area right across here, I'd keep a close eye on it. If we can hold off hold in this area, slide out here toward that 50 day, we might just resume that upside uh, trend. So keep an eye on Generac. Keep an eye on um, DKNG. DKNG had quite a move in its earnings report. Popped up huge here as you can see on that earnings report. This resting pullback, we may engage some support here in this chart. Watch this area crossed here. Now this is a very steep trend. But I think if we can hold that support in there, there may be that opportunity for a bit more upside opportunity coming into DKNG. Watch that close. When I talk about those, I, I've got to continue to talk about these uh, major casinos out here. Um, it's remarkable how strong they have been. Now we had just a little bit of uh, selling that came in there on when, but notice we're holding in here on this nice support area in the chart after breaking through. If that can continue to hold, I would watch for that opportunity. You can see we might be getting close out here on this trend for that opportunity for that to push on higher. Keep an eye on when. CRWD has been an interesting chart, gaining that traction here, breaking through downtrends in the chart, moving up slowly. If we hold this support in here, you can see we've been kind of choppy with the choppiness of the market, trying to deal with that price resistance right here in the chart. If that rests on out here to, to the trend, I'd look for that next opportunity in CRWD. Um, so there's a couple charts for you to look at today. A couple charts for your list watch them closely could be a lot more moving around here today with the volatility of the market i think it's really going to depend on how we react to that durable goods order um, which direction we actually go so be kind of careful i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading and hey i want to remind everyone if you noticed out there on the youtube channel i do a, a um a lot of work with a, a strategy I call the 3 8 trap. And I've taught this to th thousands of people now. And um, folks have found this to be um, one of those life changing strategies. And the great thing is, guys, there's room for anybody, everybody in it. It's easy to learn. It doesn't require you to be any kind of um, superstar trader. It doesn't require you to predict the market. If you're tired, sick and tired of all of these wild predictions in the market that just end up kind of burning you and tearing up your account, well, maybe you might want to consider this class. We have this class coming up, the first one being on 
um, Saturday, the March uh, March fourth. If you want to find information on that, um, I will have a link in the description of the video uh, for um, for that class. So please um, consider that if you're interested. Um, like to see you get on the right track. This market may be on the on track of trying to shape up here just a little bit and improve and having a good quality strategy to trade with the set of rules. And by the way, what I basically do is take my entire trade book and I give it to you. The, the entire thing, the rules, the guidelines, everything that you need to follow through and utilize this trend. So check, check out that link if you have some interest. Everyone take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early, right and early Tuesday morning. Have a good day, everyone.